Have you ever taken a close look at a wire, say, from an old pair of headphones or inside a device, and noticed that under the outer plastic coating, there's a shiny layer of foil wrapped around the inner wires? It might seem odd at first. After all, foil is what we use in the kitchen to cover leftovers, not something you'd expect to find in electronics. But that silvery wrap isn't there by accident. It plays a crucial role in ensuring your devices work the way they're supposed to. Today, we're diving into a question you might not have even realized you needed the answer to. Why are wires wrapped in foil? Let's explore, right here on History of Simple Things. To understand the purpose of foil and wiring, we first need to talk about how electrical signals work and what kind of problems they face. Wires are essentially highways for electrical currents, carrying information in the form of voltage and current between different components. But just like highways can suffer from traffic jams or outside interference, like accidents, weather, or construction, wires can face their own form of interference. One of the biggest issues? Electromagnetic interference, or EMI. Electromagnetic interference happens when external electromagnetic fields disrupt the signal traveling through a wire. This can come from other nearby electronics, power lines, motors, or even the sun. If you've ever heard a buzz or static on a speaker when a phone rings nearby, that's EMI in action. And for data cables, like the ones inside your computer, gaming console, or even a USB cable, EMI can mean data corruption, slower speeds, or even total failure of communication between components. That's where foil comes in. The foil wrap you see inside many cables is called shielding, and it acts as a protective barrier against interference. It's usually made of aluminum because aluminum is lightweight, flexible, and a great conductor of electricity. When used as a shield, it doesn't carry current in the same way the internal wire does. Instead, its job is to redirect any external electromagnetic fields away from the core wires. Think of it like a moat around a castle. It doesn't fight the invaders directly, but it keeps them at bay and away from the important stuff inside. But how does this work exactly? The aluminum foil shield acts like a Faraday cage, which is a principle in physics where a conductive enclosure blocks external static and non-static electric fields. When EMI hits the foil, the energy is absorbed or reflected by the shield rather than letting it pass through to the signal-carrying conductors inside. Often, this foil is grounded meaning it's connected to a path that safely leads electrical current to the ground, so any interference it captures is harmlessly dissipated. This grounding is a key part of the shielding system. Without it, the foil can't do its job effectively. In fact, improperly grounded shielding can sometimes make interference worse by acting like an antenna. Now, you might be wondering, is foil the only type of shielding used in cables? Not quite. There are actually several types of shielding, and foil is just one of them. Another common type is braided shielding, where thin copper or aluminum wires are woven into a mesh. Braided shields are more durable and offer better protection against low-frequency interference. Foil shields, on the other hand, are better at blocking high-frequency interference and are easier to apply during manufacturing, especially in thin or flexible cables. In some high-performance cables, manufacturers use both, foil for full coverage and braid for strength and extra protection, something known as dual shielding. Let's take a practical example. HDMI cables, which connect video and audio between your devices, use foil shielding to maintain the integrity of high-speed data transfer. 
Imagine trying to stream 4K video through a cable that's picking up interference from nearby power cables. Without shielding, you'd see glitches, noise, or even complete signal loss. Similarly, coaxial cables, the ones used for cable TV and internet, also use foil shields, sometimes even multiple layers, to prevent signal loss over long distances. In professional audio equipment, foil shielding helps prevent annoying hums and buzzes, ensuring clean sound. Even Ethernet cables, especially those used in industrial environments or data centers, often have foil shielding to protect against interference from the crowded electrical environment. It's also interesting to note that foil shielding doesn't just protect the signal inside the cable. It also helps prevent the cable from emitting its own interference. Every time a wire carries a current, it generates a small electromagnetic field. Multiply that by dozens or hundreds of wires packed together in a computer or a car, and you've got a potential mess of interference. The foil helps to contain these emissions making the entire system more stable and less noisy, electrically speaking. In some cases, you might also find a drain wire running alongside the foil inside a cable. This wire is there to make grounding easier. Since aluminum can't be easily soldered, the drain wire, usually made of copper, is connected to the foil and provides a convenient way to ground the shield, ensuring it does its job. It's just one more layer in the very carefully engineered system that keeps modern electronics working smoothly. Wires are wrapped in foil to protect against electromagnetic interference, preserve signal quality, and improve overall device performance. It's a silent guardian, a necessary piece of engineering in our complex, interconnected world. As technology becomes even more data-intensive and signal-sensitive, shielding becomes more critical than ever. So the next time someone asks, why is there foil in this cable? You'll not only have the answer, but you'll understand just how important that shiny little wrap really is. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.